Christian hip hop artist Marcus Boy. Marcus Lee Boy to get the whole name. And this is part one of my documentary. I was born back in 1983 to Tina Boyd and Tommy Strozier. Six children. Got third out of the six. You know, this is the modest beginning. But what's crazy is, how did I go from this modest beginning to Peachtree and Pine? One of the hardest shelters for men. It used to be called the Atlanta Metro Tax Force. And it's nothing but filth, vile, unlivable type of circumstances for homeless men or for people who don't have housing. And we're gonna take you across the street you know, so you can see some of this up close and personal. No different from any other city that you may be from. But Eastern and Pines has its own landmark, its own language, as its own. You know, it's nothing but men and women and children here. Women and children sleep on the first floor with their children, and men sleep in the basement. We call that a survival dome. Let me show you the plight so people can really understand that it's homeless, it's more than just homeless people out here. It's people that need help. It's people that need, you know, a better way of living, a second chance, if you will. And it's nothing was wrong with it's nothing wrong with these people, because I was one of them. This is the circumstance. This is peace tree and pine. This is what we have to live with. This is what we have to deal with just because we homeless. It's not fair. And you know, nobody asked to be in these type of situations but life situations happen. As for me, I spent a year and a half here, right here in Peachtree and Pine. Down there is where people get their meals, buses, churches, and everything in life come out, hand out food, pamphlets, help people go to church. Right over there is where, you, where I used to sleep in the basement with my luggage and everything. Elementary schools, Clifton Springs Elementary. Um, you know, with Clifton, my cousin Maya Stroger, she went here. My cousin Dorian Stroger, she went here. Uh, my brothers, you know what I'm saying? Um, down the street, we went to Meadowview Elementary School. We was all my brothers was varsity players in baseball, basketball, football. Everybody used to go to the pool right there if you wanted a little hottie or you know a little something to hold on to. You got it in the 10 foot, 10 feet in the pool because you knew you couldn't swim and they couldn't either. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna say it's somebody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so now this school is called the Barack H. Obama School. Peace and love to Barack Obama. You know what I'm saying? I mean, back when I was going here. It was amazing. We had dances every Friday. Every Friday was a dance. We didn't care who we were celebrating. We was dancing with somebody. My cousin Maya was the school bully. Like she used to bully people out of pencils and stuff. <laughs> Love you, Maya. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but but yeah, this is this is this is what it is. You know what I mean? I don't I don't feel like showing y'all. You know, um, I don't think it's necessary to go through Metal View. Because basically it's the same thing as Clifton Springs and stuff of that nature. But we got a special guest coming in about five minutes. My big brother, one of the one of the children that my mom birthed, <laughs> called BJ, that can help me remember some of this stuff with Clifton and Russian Park and stuff of that nature. So, you know, it's just a beautiful situation here. Um, I used to get beat up sometimes from the school, from the school bullies and stuff. And I just had to call my cousins. You know what I'm saying? I had to burr. You know what I'm saying? I had to burr. But you know what I mean? This is, you know, school plays, sock hops. 
field day. Just the normal stuff. I fell in love with music right here, people. Right here, my third grade teacher, Miss Johnson, you know, gave me a flute, and then she gave me a, um, an accordion, and she let me play. And I fell in love with the art of music right here at this school. And, you know, it's just, it was a beautiful situation for me. Yeah, my brother Marcus, man, this this Clifton, this one you went to school right here, Clifton Springs Elementary, they call it Barack Obama. You wanna, they changed the name, but the land's still the same. You know, we used to walk these streets right here. Um, he grew up over here. He came out of some real messed up stuff, and then when he got with us, we was just, you know, good folks. Uh, he's actually swimming across the street, you know, and at the same time, we played football and baseball. He wasn't the best at that, but he a boss at what he do right now. You know what I mean? So y'all just gotta listen to him, but I love him. So any help you need, anything you need, I'm here for him. But yeah, this way he did it. Take a look around, it's the same old spot, you know, ain't much happy, ain't much change, but man, he definitely changed, you know, and I'm proud of him. His big brother, this is his big brother, Benny B. You know, so anything he want, anything he need, I'm right on this corner. That's what you want. Yeah, that's what Yeah, man, like that, that's really the bottom line of how, how I walk the planet. All these runs in the neighborhood with all these animals, rabbits, and ducks. Yeah, ducks, 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 one day. Breaking that window up there because we left, we left the keys. I don't yeah. remember none of that, Mama. Look, Mama, I don't remember none of that. Whatever. I don't we used remember. To break in the house. Mama, we, we, Mama, I don't remember none of that. Look, look, Mama, I ain't, I ain't did nothing. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, though. All right. We all know who uh, Big is, Big Papa, right? I see, I see. He's like one of the original ones, you know. I don't know if it's old lady see this, you know, old lady. If y'all know if that means a wife. She live the other soulmate, old lady. I don't know if she see this. I don't know how she gonna take it, but I done seen this man with more women than Victoria's Secret. Real talk, you know. And he'll be like, he'll come to the house, yeah, this, 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 whatever, this, 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 you know, whatever like that. The day that he um, brought his wife to around. Martino, it was a totally different thing. Remind you, like every other woman, like I said before, he'll bring over like this, such and such, yeah, whatever, go wait in the car, you know what I'm saying, or go in the room, you know. When we met her, I knew it was something different about it because he was like, this is Martino, that's gonna be my wife right here, you know what I'm saying? And when I met her, I was like, dang, I was like, this, she got to be somebody to get him locked down like that, you know. So when I met her, it all made sense, you know, because they complement each other very well, you know, as far as being on the intellectual level, the deep level, the driven level both of them have, they complement each other on that. You know? Hi, I'm Dorinda uh, Green, Ms. of Miss uh, D Entertainment, the owner. Um, I'm on here, I want to talk about Marcus Boyd. Um, like, he is like one of my favorite artists. Um, I'm gonna go back to when I first met him, um, was on Facebook. He actually um, inboxed me and asked me would I be his, um, his manager. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> like that. So we got to talking and he was sending his, uh, music to me and I was just loving this music because it was just very unique and um, I never heard that style of uh, rap that he's uh, that he does well conscious music and so um, with that being said um, I told him that I would pray about it and I prayed about it and um, God gave me a yes on it and I took him in and um, started managing him and um as time go on went on um he gave me uh god gave me the scripture of luke 12 31 um and the scripture went but uh, seek his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well and with that being said um god showed me that um marcus was a treasurer and um when he gave, when he told me that, he went on to tell me how he was a treasurer, and um, he gave me, uh, 
he showed me how you know how um uh biggie started and um as biggie went on he um he was really dedicated into um his music and um i mean really dedicated into his music and everything and um God showed me Marcus being on the stage um, in front of millions of people. And that's when I knew that God had given me something that valuable. And um, I don't take it lightly because um, when God give you something, you have to take care of it because it's your baby. And I carry it just like it is my baby. And um, with that being said, with Marcus, um, I want to uh, I want to make sure that he makes every goal in his life, his vision. He wants uh, his movie out. I want to make sure his movie is on LMN. I want to make sure that he um, make every move that is according to God's will and purpose of his life where he is leaving a legacy behind for him and his, his I mean for his wife and his child his children we're gonna say that and um with that being said I love Marcus I love him dearly and um this man here when I say that he's a genius he's a genius just to sit there Amongst him is an honor. This man sit here and he has so much knowledge and wisdom to give to you that he can help you make moves. And I just really thank God for Marcus. I'm telling you, Marcus is that deal. And um, people is really going to see him out there um, making big moves. And it's going to be according to God's will and purpose for his life. So, with that being said, Marcus, keep on moving, keep on doing what you're doing, and keeping God at the forefront, and watch God move, because he's moving already in your life, just that quick, he's moving, and I just thank God for that. Um, we're not blood cousins, but because we, we, we had the same name, and I call you cuz over, like, you, you've been amazing. The whole time we've known each other. Um, originally, when I when I met you, we, we 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 was collaborating on beats. I mean, I had artists that was doing some things, and I mean, you just blessed me with unlimited beats for these artists to actually get on. You know, because they missed their blessing, you got blessed. You know, it's it's, it's amazing how far you've come, um, how great things have, have have happened for you, and you've been consistent. Very important that you've been very consistent and and true to what you wanted to accomplish, and and and, and you're doing an amazing job right now. And I, I'm so proud of you, and I want you to know that I'm always gonna be here for you. You know, not only am I gonna I'm like, hey, I'm here. Trust me, we we gonna do some big things. I'm I'm ready to take you as far as you you're willing to go. You know, you're you're not a hard person to deal with. You bless your heart is so big that it really allows people to come in and actually help you grow and you in turn help other people grow. My name is Martina Nightboy. I am the, well, he says the better half. I say the other half of Marcus Boyd. Marcus Boyd, what can I say about him? He's just amazing. Just his talent, just his drive, just his passion. It's just like everything about him it just makes me want to be bigger. It makes me want to be better. It's like everything that he does, it's like, wow. Hello, my name is Maya Strozier. I am Marcus Boyd, cousin. What can I say about him right now? He is awesome right now. He has made all his dreams come true. I'm the person that changed all his dirty diapers, okay? He was lovable, loved to eat a lot of wheat bread. We couldn't keep bread in our house. That's all I can say, right? The person that he is now, the person I never thought he would be. I was a person that's like to influence him on when it came to music. Music is in our blood. It's a stroger thing. It's always been. So I knew he was going to take it off the rip. You know, he went through his challenges, he went through R&B, he went through regular rap, and he found himself and it came to rap. I'm so proud of that boy. You know, when I actually found out that he was talented, we had a little barbecue, he was 7 years old and I was actually 14. 
the actual Michael Jackson came on and it was bad. You know, you know how he did the little tricks and the little things and everything. He came out and did his thing. He did every step. Every step. You know, like every little step. Like Bobby Brown say, every little step. I, I said, Lord, Jesus. That's it right there. We was little kids and that's when I knew he had it, y'all. And look at him now. A blessing. A blessing. I'm so proud of him. To stroll the legacy, we gonna take it. Keep going, Marcus. I love you. Oh. It's, my, it's, one, it's the biggest inspiration. Hey, you got a little the form. Look, this picture's 20 years old. Hi, my name is Monica Oliver. I am Marcus Boyd's aunt. He is my third, um, third nephew, and he's the oldest from all the other siblings on my sister's side. Um, Marcus has always been one of those um, busy type of youngsters, always into something. I remember at my wedding, I think Marcus was like eight or nine years old, um, we were having difficulty getting people on the dance floor. And so Marcus started off, he showed us his moves. He was not um, bashful at all and even went down to a split. So that got everybody moving and everybody on the dance floor. So thanks to my nephew, my um, reception was a, was a success. Marcus has been dedicated to his craft in music and I've been so proud of him over the years. He's never given up on it. He constantly wrote songs and, you know, stayed on that path until an open door has come. And I pray that he has all the success and lives on purpose that God has given him. Okay. Yeah, I've known Marcus uh, when I married into the family. He was about seven, eight years old. And the first thing I noticed about Marcus was he was very talented. He was a great dancer at the time. He did a break dance at our, at our wedding uh, reception. And I knew then that he was going to be something. One thing about Marcus that really stood out with me was how he took the way he was brought up, turned it into music, turned it into art form. So he took a bad situation, made it good, and I applaud him for that. And I have nothing but the utmost respect for him. And I know he's going to do good in life, and he's going to be a great father, great husband. Um, he's a great man. And I hope that he makes it. I wish him the best. I just had to end this documentary with saying praise to the Most High. Praise to Joshua. Praise to Jesus Christ. Praise to God for everything he allowed me to experience, bark upon, step onto, embrace, touch, anything that he allowed me to even see. Because so many times I could have been dead on the devil's doorstep. So many times I knocked on the devil's door and those demons answered. And I just praise God that he didn't let my soul to be taken. So many times I tried to kill myself by drinking bleach and cutting my wrist and doing all this stuff because I felt like that I was homeless with this music and nobody cared. I felt like I was sleeping in the dumpster in Peachtree and Pine and I couldn't call cousins up to give me a roof. But maybe it wasn't for them to give me a roof. Maybe I had to do what I had to do on my own in order to survive and put that real grind into it in my back. So I praise God for this documentary, for the realness that people showed, for the love that they generally showed that I didn't even know they was gonna say. And I just praise God for everybody who said something on this documentary, this part one of my life. And I appreciate the director, Kimberly Green, and her business partner for coming from Ohio. I appreciate the connect, my cousin Candy, love you dearly. You know what I'm saying? And the biggest thing for me is to show these people that this generation and this family called the Strogers, we still here. Yeah, we may have some flaws like any other family, but we a legacy. We have uncles that's no, not here no more that did more for this music than a lot of people don't even know about. We have history books. At the end of the day, everybody in this family is a legacy. Everybody has a gift and a talent. And whether they choose to use theirs or not, I'm choosing to be the forefront for this family to let them know that these Trojans and these boys live. Period. And I just praise God for my team Miss D Entertainment, MKB Productions, Sony BMG, every, everybody that ever rocked with Marcus, everybody who ever brought a tape, who listened to a beat, who listened to me freestyle, 
You know, back then, back in the days when I used to freestyle in garages for like two hours straight, but we're not gonna get in that. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this music, this is the only thing I knew from a toddler. When I used to have the pink vanilla, vanilla ice microphone running around rapping. I've been doing this for my young dude. And yeah, I've been homeless, I lost jobs, I lost wives, I lost houses, I lost apartments, and everything else. Because I've been chasing the same dream, the same passion, the same goal, the same entity. You know what I mean? When I married my third wife, she already knew that music was my life. It wasn't my wife, it was my wife. And I made her a part of that life. Because she came first as long as music did. Period. I already had, I already had, you know, myself, but I had to find my queen. So when I found my rib, I already knew that I could move fully because I we became one body. You understand know what I'm saying? So I appreciate my queen, I appreciate my wife, because without her sacrificing to save my life, I wouldn't even be here. When she was on crutches, when she couldn't walk, when she had broken bones in her leg, she still washed my body up to make sure I was good. She still cooked for me to make sure I was good. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my life making sure she don't want for nothing, period. I love y'all. I love everybody who been rocking with me, period. There's much more to come, man. MKB always.